Holy smokes, guys. Elections do matter. Look at the cities across the country. Google yourself. Do your own research. What cities have been run by liberal Democrats for decades are dumpster fires. Dumpster fires. Look at these look at these companies that have left California. Now, we're just this is just California. This is insane. And SpaceX to Texas as well. Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary. Mr. Wonderful says California is a, quote, dumpster fire for businesses. He joins me now. Kevin, it's great to have you on the show. Here's how big a deal this is in California. Chevron leaving, the Los Angeles Times says, is a big hit to the state of California. And when the Progressive Times is saying that, you know it's a big hit. It's got to be a big hit. I mean, we know uh, Elon Musk has left. Because, I mean, that was just a straw that broke the camel's back on the bill that that got uh, that Gavin Newsom passed that uh, teachers don't have to tell the parents about their children wanting to identify as a cat or a dog or, or whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's it's ridiculous that we're even uh, having to talk about it. But this guy has got some. I like this guy. He's got some serious cojones to get out here and say this. Elon Musk, too. More companies need to come out and go, yeah, we're done. We're just done with this liberal, tarred policies. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, Gavin Newsom, uh, and I've said this multiple times, great guy, I've met him, I like him, has no executional skills, has no idea what's going on here. He's turned his state into um, a version of Venezuela. And oh my God. He has, he said he's a nice guy. I don't know how, so he's a nice guy. He's pleasant when you talk to him. But look at his state. Aren't we supposed to judge people by their by their actions? Didn't Jesus say by the fruit? And he has not bared good fruit. This guy just said he's he's running the state like 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 it's Venezuela. And everybody's leaving it because the policy's broken. You know, you don't have to get into partisan politics on this. California, mm -hmm. as far as business is concerned, and job creation and economic prosperity, is a dumpster fire. Wow. Kudos to him for coming out and saying that. Because more people need to come out and say it. It's on fire. These companies are leaving after hundreds of years there because they can't do business. They can't make money. They can't employ anybody. And in every sector, I'm wearing a chef suit today because I invest a lot in food services. We don't touch California in food services. You can't make money there. The policy on minimum wage is insane. At some point, the people of California should probably hire new managers. When I have a... Oh. You know, I've always asked myself, um, and if you guys do the same thing, is why, why the policies? Why the smack on the wrist for crime? What is going on here? Well, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but what is the purpose to change your state into a a dumpster fire, using his term, to just run it into the ground. I don't, I'm not understanding why the liberals are doing this. Now, is it by design they want to do this? Uh, make it so broken that they have to turn to the government to save them when it's the government that destroyed the, the, the state? I, most of us aren't that dumb. I, I certainly would hope not. But I did see a couple of things that they're running for cover, uh, trying to go down to the border. And it's like, to me, it's too little too late. Uh, like, California needs drastic changes. And, yeah, they need to be voted out. A failing business? 
I fire the manager and I hire somebody better. You can yeah. you can hire better managers. Dumpster fire. It's on fire. Yeah. And why hasn't the people of California finally went, what is going on with the homeless, the, the border, people flooding in, the crime? Look at San Francisco. Don't take my word for it. Go Google it. Go look. Why haven't they ha signed a petition to get him out, get them all out, run them out of town, tar and feather them? And, and part of that is, and I know you have this, we were going to ask you, by the way, why in the world are you wearing a chef's outfit? We'll get to that in a minute. But you bring up the, the very good point is that California raising the minimum wage to $20 and you have a lot of fast food restaurants. $20 to work at McDonald's? How are, how are other people going to afford? It's already expensive. I mean, we went to Wendy's today. I got a single hamburger, a fry, and a drink. She got a milkshake and a large fry. It was 17 bucks, almost $18 with tax for just that. Now, they're probably paying them here. I don't know. I'm thinking anywhere for like $14, $15 an hour, but $20? And we very rarely, rarely, rarely. I mean, that's the first time I've ate a hamburger out. Probably a year. I'll be honest with you. Um, it's ridiculous how, how much this stuff costs. But could you imagine? If McDonald's can't pay them $20 an hour. That's just McDonald's. We're not talking about the mom and pop shops. All these other shops that are going to have to pay these people $20 an hour. Plus, all these businesses are already leaving. What the hell are they going to do? Restaurants that are leaving the state, that are that are getting rid of jobs, that are cutting hours. And then you look at Tesla and you look at SpaceX and you look at X and you look at Elon Musk and you think, man, this is something that is not just a one off. This is a pattern in California and it is a steady pattern. It's been a pattern. It's been a pattern for a long time. Um, I think Trump campaign should use this, should use all of this. They, I was telling somebody the other day, we were just talking. I said, you know, I've watched a couple of Trump rallies. I think he should have a big projection screen behind him and go, okay, look at this. Look at this. And have behind him all the homeless camps, the abandonment of all the shops, restaurants down the strip in downtown uh, San Francisco. Show Boston. Show Chicago. Show, have, have a camera, a drone flying around and showing all Philadelphia, all the drug people just standing there like zombies. And go, look, this is what I think it would be. It would be like, wow. This is reality. This is reality. This is what you get when you vote liberal Democrats. And I think it would have such an impact showing this stuff. Showing this stuff. And then maybe at the same time, then have, okay, these are the other cities and states that are thriving. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I know y'all have watched those videos on here of the guy walking around in Philadelphia, all the, the homeless people on the side, the people doing drugs. It is just heartbreaking. Plus, I, we didn't even get into California where all those pe homeless people in those RVs on the street and, and their feces and, and stuff are, are just going right down into the water. Into, into the, you can't even go to the beach because it's toxic? Because of human waste? This is America. I this is, should be an outrage. And as you you say, if you're managing the state, somebody's got to raise their hand and say, "Uh, we're doing something wrong." I'm a multi-sectoral investor. You just Really? We're doing something wrong? It's pathetic what they're doing. It's pathetic. And the way he's uh handling the people now they I know y'all probably looked at that uh, the last couple of weeks there's been news reports of and them filming it, showing them moving people that they just got a a court order from the Supreme, I don't know if it was the Supreme Court, whatever court, Gavin Newsom got the green light to start moving homeless people. 
But I didn't see, and y'all let me know, I haven't seen what are they going to do with them. You're just going to say, okay, you can't be here on state, federal land, so where do they go? Where are they going? They got to go somewhere, right? So where are they going? That's what I want to know. It's detailed multiple sectors. You have technology. You have energy. You have food and consumer goods. They're all leaving because the policy's broken. I don't make money on politics. I don't care. I'm agnostic. I don't care who runs California, red or blue or independent. Mm -hmm. I couldn't care less. Policy matters. And Gavin Newsom's policy is broken. Cause and effect. You raise minimum wages. You wipe out hundreds of thousands of jobs. And you lose giant industries. And look, this guy, you would think he would want to be president? His state is a dumpster fire. Did you imagine? I, Lord forbid if Kamala Harris gets elected and she appoints him somewhere in the government. Because we know liberals reward. They reward failure. Because to them, failure is success. I learned that from Rush Limbaugh. Energy is the essence of an economy. You can't yeah. do anything without energy. And they just kicked him out of California. I said, look, Gavin. Look, Gavin's like, hey, I got a point to make. We're going to make things even worse. And I love you, but maybe you got to find a job doing something else you're good oh. at because it's not this. Oh. But, but you. Oh, burn. 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 Bro. You need to find a job that you're good at, because this ain't it. What job? What job would he be good at? I mean, you're gonna, you can't run the state. So hell no, you're not running somebody's company. Cause good lord, we see what's happening there. Are you kidding me? You have said many times, Kevin, listen, not just California. I mean, you're from Massachusetts and a lot of your friends and you're down in Florida. And you're like, listen, this is not just a California problem. This is something that a lot of states have have problems over regulation, over taxation, et cetera, et cetera. Not just over over regulations and over taxation. It's that they, they just like, well, we don't even want to waste our time locking people up. I mean, look at the stuff that's happening in New York right now. They're, they're running around on little mopeds like they're a carrier to deliver stuff. And they're going in and robbing people eating dinner at the restaurants. <laughs> so my theory, my I'm just, you know, those restaurants are going to shut down. Or they're going to have to, uh, and, and those restaurants, by the way, too, uh, they're like very expensive restaurants. So they will have to spend money to have security if people stop coming well i, I don't want to get robbed so i'm not going to go out to eat and spend 200 dollars at your restaurant so what those guys are going to have to do is hire police officers or some kind of security to protect their patrons coming in to eat dinner for pete's sake well, look, I think we should reward the states that have pro-business policy. You're right. Massachusetts, I left. My family lives in Florida. All my neighbors live around me. I don't want to punish success. When you talk about a super tax for wealthy people that have basically taken all the risk to create jobs, you chase them out of the state. We need the competition of states. An hour ago, I just inked a deal in West Virginia for 180 acres to build a data center. Not inked. I just optioned the land. I would never do that in upstate New York. Never, <laughs> even though their power is cheaper there. You can't get anything done in New York. I'm getting Yeah, New York. Nobody wants to do business in New York. I remember uh yeah, I used to listen to Rush all the time. I do I do miss him. I, I think we we lost a, a great voice and it's like I've still been searching for someone that I haven't found anybody as comparable to him that I can just sit and listen to. Um shoot, when he was there and he was wanting to leave Man, they started, uh, what, running a, an audit on him every year for when he did his taxes just to harass him. Just to harass him. Until he could finally sell and just completely uh, part ties with, with New York. I mean, because so, it was expensive then. When he was then, now it's just, it's just even worse. 
I hope New York rises up in this election, and they need to start all these all these cities across the country I need to really evaluate how their city has been run by decades. And every one of those mayors and senators, Republicans are going to run against them in these states and cities need to have video footage and show what their city looks like. Just show them. Maybe, I don't know. what Shouldn't they already know walking down the road? I, I, I don't understand it. Why do they continue to keep voting these people in and nothing gets better? It has gotten worse. And not everybody can just pack up and leave. They don't have the money to do it. Getting it done in West Virginia, Oklahoma, North Dakota. Let's reward these states. Let's bring mm -hmm. our money there, celebrate them, talk about them like I am right now, and punish the weaker ones that don't give good policy. This is America. We build businesses. If you can't compete, you get whacked. I'm good with that. That's the essence of what drives the economy. Yeah. So New York, no. New Jersey, no. Massachusetts, no. California, no. North Dakota. Wow. <laughs> No, 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 no. And you know what? He, the, all these people who are in businesses, they already know. They already know that they're not, they, they can't afford it. They can't afford it. And what's wrong? I know you hear the liberals go, well, why, why is the Republicans giving these businesses and corporations tax breaks and this and that? Well, because they provide jobs to people. So if a company's being taxed the shit out of because they got to pay their fair share or do what Obama said, give it to the guy behind you because maybe he's down on his luck. I mean, this is not the way you run business. It is just, it's just insane. Cody, yes. West Virginia, yes. I'm yeah. telling you, Oklahoma, yes. Good policy gets my money. I'm not the only guy saying this. I want to bring money and jobs to states that get the joke. Yeah. They need the tax breaks. They need to have the incentive to set up shop to provide jobs. So here comes California. Well, we're going to... All these companies leave in California, but Gasm Newsom says, I, hey, I got a great idea. He's sitting at a table. They're all at a table, right? They're all in a committee. He says, I got a great idea. I know these companies are leaving, but it's okay. We're going to raise the minimum wage. <laughs> Let's just pour jet fuel on this dumpster fire that we've created. Let's just keep going. What is what is the logic in that? Yes, chef. Yes, I got to go, Kevin. But, but are you going to cook something or is this just a statement? I've got 10 seconds. I go all around the world. I'm, look, I'm, a, I'm a big in restaurants, big in food services. I am a chef. I search for the best chefs yeah. in Asian fusion. I'm in upstate right now. This is north in Canada at Rosso. There's a chef here that makes the best Asian fusion sushi yeah. on earth. Some people say I'm Wait. trying it. Kevin. Nice. Nice. Well, there you have it. California's a dumpster fire. It's a shame too when I see see that stuff. Even the even we don't want them pouring over the border, but even when you see them and you see that footage and these people, not there is a bunch of criminals. But when you see a a, a woman and a baby and stuff, your heart goes out to them. Well, what do you do? You got to stop the bleeding. You've got to stop the bleeding. You've got to have. You got to. You got to put the wall up. You got to do something. We got to stop it. Uh, California, I don't know, man. What's... I'm surprised, literally, that it's taken so long for more to come out. More of a, a harmony with the rest of the country to say we've had enough of these liberal policies. It needs to stop. In these other states, they need they need to put a stop to it because it's it's going to ruin them. It, they're just going to be ruined. These poor people. I feel for those those people in California to some extent. 
because you you vote you get what you vote for. Now, I don't know if there's any shenanigans going on and they're voting. Like how the hell did that Newsom get elected? Good lord. He's horrible. He is horrible. I, the proof is in the pudding, people. The proof is in the pudding. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you, and have a great day. Boom.